times that these guys have fought each other, and as dominating as Kazunoko has looked, he's actually looked confused up against Momochi. Momochi does such a great job controlling both the ground and the air, but right now, Kazunoko with a great start. Too far for the grab. Wanted it though, and it might have worked. So that's interesting to see from him at, at the very start there. Three straight grabs, really trying to set up the counter hit game. Okay, lots of ground control. Look at that space, you see the exact movement back and forth. All in vain. <laughs> there comes Momochi now. Oh, nice. Punish the back dash, he recovered in time. Wow, after the tech, yep, he's still in range for Kara throw. Gets another throw. Keeps on another throw, uppercut builds meter. Oh, oh that he worked. For it worked. Fourth it worked. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> How's it up to start this round with so many grabs? Momochi trying to do the same thing. Oh, he went for another grab, and then an up kicks from Kazunoko does not pay off. Punish from Momochi. Momochi takes round one. And around that, Kazunoko looked great. And at the start, mix ups were going. He had the corner for himself. Oh, oh you can't get out of that. That's just. You're, you're, when you, once you start that EX going... Oh. oh, and then just a read with that fierce uppercut. Okay, Kazunoka says, enough of this. Oh, wake up, low forward that's, uppercut. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's game over. There that's, is nothing you can say to that. That is just, that is ridiculous. That's the third strike in Momochi. <laughs> Momochi uh, was... A very, very strong player of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, a game that is really reads dependent. You have to you have to guess right all the time in that game, and you have to have excellent mid-range control. Those are the two things that that game is really about. And and no surprise that the way that Momochi plays SF4 is just like that. And again, you see that look of trepidation on, on Kazunoko's face. He's just... Well, I, I can understand, because he's playing against a player who is willing to make, you know, as as difficult to predict mix-ups as Kazunoko is. Yep. Oh, nice, using that distance of the fierce uppercut to catch that dive kick even from that far away. Momochi so good at shutting down the dive kick angle from Yun. Yeah, you can, see, you can see that he's almost... Kazunoko almost looks scared to do the neutral jumping that he's so well known for. Oh, she's four step kicks in a row. Mm -hmm. And some confident walking toward as well. Okay. Uh, but good anti airs from Kazunoko. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Again, wake up, catch immediately. It could work, but didn't get anything out of it. Oh, no. Oh, dragon punch. Yeah, I know. Oh, and he just chips chip. him out. Smart stuff from Kazunoko. Let's keep it up. Nice. Just, he was waiting for it. Yeah. And then there's the punish. Oh, nice! Beats the focus with the EX command throw. No meters for FADC, so just low forward fireball is all he's gonna get. Nice swift punish on the step kick. Honestly, I didn't know that worked. <laughs> That's awesome. And look at this, Momochi making come. He went for another throw, but a wake up low jab from Kazunoko beat the throw. That means more that Momochi mistimed it than anything. We saw him twitch a little bit to get him to stand up. Yeah. Neither of these two want to commit to anything right now. No, they, they know that the round is on the line. Next yeah. hit is probably going to do it. You see how Neither one, one wants to overcommit. Both of them, they try something and then immediately backdash. He's mm -hmm. like, no, no, I'm done. Oh! Oh, oh the setup. Beautiful. The setup. And now pressing is dangerous. Oh! Okay, so Kazunoko gets out. And he has. He's down on life now, but the mid range game is still. Oh, oh, just a little. It doesn't have that oh, great of a range, but a great look at that read. Face. From Momochi. It's exasperation. It's confusion. Yeah. I think that was a good word. It's like I said, it's just it's really interesting because Kazunoko, he's the way he plays, it's hard to confuse a guy like this because he's always trying something. But someone like Momochi can actually get into Kazunoko's head here. It's so incredible. Look at this. Okay, patience by Momochi. Into the corner now. There All it is. Right. 
Will he use uh, Ultra? No, he saves. Smart. Was not gonna kill. Nice. E excellent time to come in. Ultra here. And that, that should do like it. Round. Yeah, that looked at the game. One to one here in the first set. That should definitely give Kazunoko a little bit of comfort, but still looks a little concerned. See that exhale right there? Wow. Just uppercut it there, and then there's that thunder kick overhead. And then okay. a wake-up uppercut again! Wow, from the front, and that was a lot of damage. He was probably thinking of the cross-up hurricane. Ken has big life lead. He has the positioning advantage as well. So no reason for him to go nutty. kazunoko has got to try to solve the defense. And no reason for him to go nutty, yeah, but... Just, he was just waiting there. Somehow I have a funny feeling he's going to go nutty. Anyway. Well, look, he wouldn't mind doing it, okay? But, <laughs> but at that range, there's no strategic reason to. And he didn't, and he just had control. For sure. Again, back to that kind of situation. What Ken is, Ken is looking for are ranges where he can walk forward and get anti-air dragon punch, or where he can walk backwards very quickly and outrange the dive kick. It's just all about a control of space right now. Trying to figure out when to get in close enough so that you can start your attack. Right? Just outside of that dive kick range. Excellent. And he had the reactions to punish. And you see that? That dashed low forward that he's got had pay off for him so much. Not on Momochi. There's a bait. And now Kazunoko's gonna get most of the way to the corner. Well, backs off. You don't see uh, Kazunoko get too timid very often. He got canceled. He didn't yeah. want to risk it. He's worried about it. Momochi has some really interesting anti young tech. Yes. That kind of only works with Ken. Oh, he's going to be able to combo that. Yes. Counter hit, step kick. Link into uppercut, Momochi 2-1. And it was a dash, right? He caught a yeah. dash, so he saw, he saw the dash, immediately did step kick, put himself at a spot where if you unpressed a button, which, hey, he was probably gonna do, there would be the counter hit, there'd be the follow-up mm -hmm. dragon punch, and, and that would seal it. So just excellent awareness, that spacing and understanding of his opponent's potential options. You know, when, when players react to something like that, you, you have to have just great reactions you know, to, to do that. But on top of that, it's not just you're reacting to something, it's that you're predicting it and looking for it, and then when it comes, it's much easier to react. Oh yeah, uh-huh. A lot of the reaction isn't necessarily even reaction, you know, it's a lot of anticipation. Yes. So Momochi is that tournament game right now. Oh wow, that was very far range for him to just come out with that. Okay. Nice, okay. Oh, brave. Wow. Okay. Is that going to be the round here? Maybe not. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. Yun gets so much damage in the corner. Kazunoko trying to keep this tied. Wants to win this round here to get it to 2-2. Two, two. Remember, he has to win two sets. See them staring at each other for just a little bit. It's really how much patience. Like I said, this kind of gameplay where you do this, it's very mentally taxing. It's very, very tough to maintain because a lot of people just tend to lose patience and be like, I can't deal with this anymore. I got to go in. Right. And usually that's the person who causes themselves to lose. Wow, very nice. Confirm. Oh, back off. Jeez. Oh, air to air. Jump back. Roundhouse. Wow. Okay, great timing. All right, still has meter for red focus cancel. Oh, this oh here is, we go. Is he going to use it here? No, saves no. it still. Too many hits beforehand. Not going to be worth it. Really nice option, just EX out of there. You know, maybe he would have been punished, but it wasn't going to be by, by red focus. Right. And he got hit anyway, so that's bonus. 
Wow, Mochi goes for the jump. Yeah, he really hasn't done that too often, huh? Yeah. Mostly been grounded, mostly been patient and waiting. And maybe that's why he's good. There's three jumps in a row now. Yeah, very quick Oh, reversal. he caught the forward dash again. And it is going to be enough to kill Momochi at tournament point. That's a very quick change of, of options. Yes. Right, those jumps all of a sudden. And even though the first one didn't pay off, I just like the fact that he kept going at it. Oh, he's trying to counter it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's that tech you were talking yep. about. Where mm -hmm. if, uh, if the shoulder connects as a counter hit, Red Focus actually won't combo afterward. Yeah, it whiffs, and he knew it, and I, I think it was at Shadowloo Showdown or, or one of the tournaments where it just whiffed and he countered with Ultra immediately. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was something he knew about. And of course, something that Kazunoko knows about, too. <laughs> now. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Kazunoko still sitting on that full bar, so he's really dangerous right now. One hit, one hit. But he feels, he looks like he feels so grounded, you know, right. compared to how he often plays. This, this match has been such a ground-based match, and as, as Yun, Kazunoko Yun, you don't want it to be like that. You'd much rather have the ability to, you know, go to the air, threaten with your dive kick, all those things. But the way that Momochi has played, he's kind of solved that option. Just been standing at excellent oh, ranges. That's oh, that might guy. be it! This might be it! And it is! Momochi has taken the South by Southwest Players Invitational. 16 came in, only one can walk out, and that is EG's Momochi. He continues that streak against Kazunoko of, look, as good as Kazunoko is and, and was this weekend, undefeated in the group stage and, and great today. Momochi just has his number. Yeah, absolutely. Momochi, though, to be fair, has everybody's number. <laughs> that guy has, I mean, he makes some of the top players look absolutely silly. I mean, that's just, that's the best way to put it. Momochi took Capcom Cup last year, really cemented himself as the one to beat in 2015. Yeah. And he is continuing that streak here, especially in a stacked invitational like this. So many strong players. I mean, you look at this top eight that made it into this bracket today. I mean, it's like draw a name out of a hat. But Momochi was the one name that I, you know, there was probably like five Momochis in the hat. You know, that was the best chance yeah. that you're going to draw a name out there. So Right. Yeah. You know, he was picked as a favorite by a lot of people coming into this. Understandably, like yeah, you said, he's course, just had yeah. such a great last few months and he really seems to have gotten to a level where he's above everybody else. In, in Street Fighter IV's lifetime, that hasn't happened very often. Has happened a couple of times. Mm -hmm. There have been players who, who have had that dominance before. Like infiltration at one yeah, point He in time. did for yes. a while. Uh -huh. For a while, Shen ran, ran things. But, man, it, it's just Momochi's moment right now. It yeah, really is. absolutely. This is definitely his year. He is the one that we are going to be talking about probably for the rest of this time because right now it doesn't look like there's any holes in his game. It doesn't look like he's at any... Like, no one seems to be figuring it out. You right. know what I mean? He's been winning consistently. And it's not like he's winning with tricks. He's not winning with, like, shenanigans that we haven't seen before. He's winning with extremely solid play. So it's just been amazing stuff. It's, it's basically... Perfect Street Fighter, it feels like. He just puts himself at a range that is perfect, all, yeah. almost all of the time. You saw it all throughout that match against Kazunoko, where he was just outside of dive kick range, or right. just inside to get, you know, he was, it, as a young player, your dive kicks have to land at a particular spot on the opponent for them to have frame advantage, for you right. to be able to press your game safely. And, and Kazunoko just didn't find that space more than a few times <laughs> throughout all four of those games. Yeah. And, and, and even in the meantime, Momochi is, you know, while he's looking for that anti-air, right, he's still paying attention to the ground in a way that's difficult to do. Very difficult to pay attention to both the anti-air game and, and the ground control game. And he was doing it with things like step kick on reaction to dashes. Right, and, right. You know, he just had everything going for him. But now we are going to do the prize presentation here for the top three players. Let's kick it back over to Mr. Ryan Gutierrez. All right, guys, in coming in in third place, getting a ridiculous amount of money, Aver Media Gamer B, come on up here. Everybody give it up for Gamer B all the way from Taiwan. $2,000, oh my God. Congratulations. Any shout outs? Uh, I'm happy and uh, I will go into Fire Ross, so 
I was trying to beat more people. Atlanta, watch out. Final round. Gamer B is coming for you. Everybody give it up for Gamer B. All right, in second place. It was really close, but coming all the way from Japan, we got Kazunoko. Give it up. Kazunoko gets $4,000. Oh my God. All right, congratulations, everybody. Give it up for Kazunoko. And coming in, first place, the grand champion. He won Capcom Cup 2014. He won Shadaloo Showdown in Australia. And now he's won the South by Southwest Gaming Fighters Invitational. Give it up for E.G. Momochi. <laughs> Momochi gets $10,000. Oh my gosh, everybody give it up. For this man, the champion, the best in the world right now. Holy smokes, that's a lot of money. Oh yeah, give it up, give it up. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up there. Hold it up, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, uh, can, we, can we get a quick a uh, couple of quick questions i mean momochi you have won capcom cup you've won shadowloo showdown and now you've won the fighters invitational here at south by southwest what is your goal for the rest of the year ano ima capcom cup mo shadowloo showdown mo ato kore ma kono taikai mo 3 kai renzoku de yushou shitatta wake de ano kotoshi no mokteki wa ittai nan desu ka well, of course, getting first place at EVO and first place at Capcom Cup. Ooh, big words, big words. <laughs> Sounds doable. Uh, and you know, there were one thing that I noticed is that there was a lot of younger fans here today. A lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, boys and girls that are much younger than we normally see at most fighting game events. Do you have any advice for them if they want to start competing so that they can be someday the next Momochi? あの、今回の大会で意外とあの、ま、見てる方は今回若者が多くてま、あの、若者に向けてあの、モモチみたいにすごく強いプレイヤーになるためなんかアドバイスか一言お願いします。まあ、あの、日本でも今すごい若いプレイヤーが増えてきて、すごい頑張ってるので、ま、すごいあのゲームは楽しくて、あの、大会で勝った時もすごく嬉しいので、やっぱりその大会を目指して、あの、勝つ
getting from that beginner level to that intermediate level. And he really hopes everyone watches and enjoys the videos. All right. And any shout outs, any last words? Anybody you want to say hello to at home? Of course, the most supportive person from Omochi has been Choco Blanca. So uh, he says thank you and he hopes for her support for the rest of the year. All right, well, congratulations. Everybody give it up one more time for Momochi. First place here at the Fighters Invitational at South by Southwest, taking home $10,000. And now we're going to kick it back over to Ultra David and James Chen. It's, it's very rare to have someone proclaim this early in the year, I want to win EVO and Capcom Cup, and everyone believes him. <laughs> you know, yeah, everyone can legit. see it happening. That's legit. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But They're going to have to be some big changes in how people approach playing against Momochi. And I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what those changes would be. Exactly. I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll see if they come. But I want to give a shout out to everyone at home watching on the Twitch channel and everyone here who watched live at South by Southwest. Thank you, everybody, for coming in, tuning in live, tuning in at home. It's been an amazing event. It's been an awesome event. I've had a, a fantastic time here. Yeah. And, uh, and honestly, Austin is a beautiful city here, so I, I love it. it I, I can't wait to come back. Yep, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, if you'd like to check out the YouTube series that uh, Momochi referenced, just go on YouTube and search Momochi and Choco Blanca, and they have uh, a, a really nice set of tutorial videos to help you out. <laughs> Definitely. But uh, as for this event here, I think that's, that's a wrap. And uh, once again, congratulations to all 16 players who came out here. They all played fantastically over this weekend. And uh, again, next weekend, final round, first Capcom premiere event. Definitely look for that. It is going to be a crazy event. So. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you there.